Welcome, to ViewChem, the Chemistry Animations Channel, Instrumentation of NM Air Spectroscopy Typical instrument, to record NM Air Spectrum, consists of, permanent magnets, with a particular field strength, like, 1.4 Tesla, a source to generate radio frequency, radio frequency detector, an amplifier, to amplify the signal, a display system, and a recorder. Usually, the radio frequency is kept constant, for example, at 60 MHz, while, the magnetic field strength is varied, by using small electromagnets, sweep coils, fixed to the main magnet. The sweep coils are connected to sweep generator, to produce varying magnetic field. The following animation explains, the principle involved in the instrumentation of, NM air spectroscopy. Instrumentation of nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy. The sample dissolved in tetramethyl silane is taken in a test tube, and placed in between the strong magnets, that are fixed with electromagnets that is sweep coils. As a result, randomly oriented nuclei of hydrogen atoms of that sample align either parallel or anti-parallel with the external magnetic field. A coil connected to the radio frequency source, 60 to 230 MHz, is wound, around the test tube containing the sample. Usually, the radio frequency is kept constant, for example, at 60 MHz, while the magnetic field strength is varied, by using small electromagnets fixed to the main magnet. The sweep coils are connected to sweep generator to produce varying magnetic field. At this situation, by varying the magnetic field strength, when the radio frequency energy is irradiated onto the sample, the protons of the hydrogen atoms in the different environments of the molecule absorb the radio frequency and go to the excited state. When the radio frequency energy is stopped, the excited protons come back to the ground state. Then the radio frequency of certain wavelength is emitted by the de-exciting protons. It is the relaxation process. A radio frequency detector detects the emitted radiation. The signal from the radio frequency detector is amplified by the amplifier. From the amplifier, the signal is fed to either cathode ray oscilloscope, or a pen recorder. In the following table, chemical shift values of some important protons are presented. Chemical shift values of some more important protons. Chemical shift values of some more important protons. Thanks for watching. Please like. Subscribe and share.